Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. I hope you're well, or at least as well as you can be. It is spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. Things are looking up, things are heating up, and I figured let's go ahead and do a seasonal list. This time, not designer fragrances, not niche fragrances, but cheap clone fragrances. Yay! Quick shameless plug, if you would like some more fragrance content, check out my other channel, Extra Gent Scents. I do reviews and first impressions over there that I don't do here, and also some other assorted lists and stuff, so check that one out. I'll have all of these linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. We are talking about fragrances today that are uplifting, fresh, clean, green scents that are perfect for this time of year. Unless you find yourself in the Southern Hemisphere where it is about to be fall slash autumn. And in, in that case, uh, come back to this video in six months time. Now the fragrances that I talked to you about here today are in no particular order. So the first one is not the worst one. The last one is not the best one. They are all special in their own way. Actually, some of them are definitely better than others, uh, but yeah, we don't want to hurt any feelings of these little fragrances or anything. Let's, uh, let's jump into it, yeah. Let's kick things off in a big way with this one right here. It's Essential from Rasasi. Now, this fragrance blew me away the first time that I smelled it because I got it for about $20. Now, uh, I did the video with this telling everybody, hey, I got this for about $20, and then it, it sold out, and then the price just went up. So, uh, sorry about that. But it did come back into stock at fragrancebuy.ca for like 22 or three or something like that. That's close enough to 20 that um, I'll still say once again, you can get this for about 20. Knock on wood. Because I had some people hit me up like after that video going, hey man, uh, I see it sold out at this place and this place. And the other place that I can find it, it's like $40 and you said it was 20. What's the deal? I apologize for that. Uh, and I hate stores <laughs> that do that. So. Anyway, back to It's Essential. This is a very affordable fragrance from Rosasi that smells quite similar to Lome Ultime, which is, of course, a discontinued fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent. Now, Ultime, Lome Ultime, was one of my favorite fragrances for spring when it was available. Absolutely loved that scent. It has a really nice, uh, rose, very fresh rose, ginger in there that gives it this just pop, this burst when you first spray it on that immediately grabs your attention. Don't worry, the rose does not make it smell feminine or anything like that. It's a very well done scent or was a very well done scent. This is not the exact same as Ultime, but it is the closest thing right now to get you to that fragrance, especially for the price point. So it still has that rose, very elegant, fresh, clean, masculine, just extremely well done. And for the price point, it is a steal. I will tell you with this and anything else I talk about here today, if it's sold out at like your, your places you usually shop, don't pay crazy marked up prices, okay? Like this one, for example, it's essential. You buy this for 25 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that, you're gonna be really happy about it. If you buy this for like 50, 60, 70, not gonna be so happy, okay? So don't get ripped off. Before we go to the next fragrance, here are some codes, and there is a new code, which is GENTS, G-E-N-T-S, at Best Brands Perfume. That will save you 10% off your order, so use that code anytime you shop on that website. They have a bunch of clone fragrances on that website, actually ones that you can't find easily other places. So they have a lot of the big ones, but then also some lesser known ones as well. And then there are the other sites as usual with those codes also. Okay, which one next? Okay, let's do this one. Insurrection 2 Sport from Ray and Tradition. Love the presentation on these. I've always thought that the Insurrection 2 bottles look really slick for the price point because this is another one that's real cheap. You know, this is 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. This one is a clone of Aventus, and there are a lot of clones of Aventus out there, but this is specifically Aventus Cologne. It's an Aventus Cologne clone. Yeah, Cologne clone. So this is the fresher style of Aventus, which makes it a little better for those high heat situations. Now, some people maybe would go with a, just a straight up Aventus clone for spring, and that would make sense. There are a whole lot of them out there. There are not quite as many Aventus cologne clones though, which is why I featured this. Because really when it comes to spring, it's almost like a tale of two seasons, kind of like fall 
also. You know, beginning of spring, it's a little bit cooler, a little bit chillier usually. Then as you head toward the end of spring, it heats up a lot. So you wanna have kind of a mix of fragrances, some that are uh, maybe a little heavier, a little bit greener, and then some that are gonna be fresher, cleaner, lighter. So yeah, Aventus Cologne right here, Insurrection 2 Sport. And again, for the price point, that is a great pickup with a really nice presentation. Okay, next up, Laventure Night. This is by Al Haramein, and it is knight like uh, that wears armor and hangs out with King Arthur, not knight like, oh, it's dark outside. That's all I got, the moon is out, I don't know. So yeah, knight like that, uh, the knights who say me. Laventure Knight is a clone of Green Irish Tweed by uh, Creed. So we got two Creed clones in a row here. Now this is another fragrance where there are a bunch of alternatives to it out there. I mean, really, I could make this probably 15 different green Irish tweed clones, right? Uh, but that wouldn't be quite as interesting. So when it comes to this one, I will tell you this is a good alternative, a good clone of green Irish tweed, absolutely. But um, if you have one that you like more, I would just roll with that one. I don't think that you really need to get, you know, five, six different iterations of green Irish tweed in clone form, uh, but you should get one because it is an awesome fragrance. And if you say it's not an awesome fragrance, you're wrong. Yeah, that's my that's my whole argument. Very well thought out. I like it because it's green and fresh and classy and you don't like it and you're a stupid idiot, dumb, dumb moron. I just did a picture perfect internet argument right there. So yeah, Laventure Night, Green Hours Tweet. <laughs> Moving on. I feel like that was the worst description <laughs> I've ever given of a fragrance. Uh, so let me do a little bit better. That has lemon verbena, it has iris, it has bergamot, so a nice citrus green fresh opening off the top, slightly spritzed with water almost. You have a little violet leaf and musk as the fragrance dries down, gives it some nice depth. It also has a, a touch of a powdery feel to it, which could offset uh, a little bit of difference between this and Green Hours Tweed, but uh, again, uh, it's a very good alternative to that. All right, let's move on from there to this one, Vibrant Vetiver Delight. This is from Emir, which is Paris Corner. You can probably tell by looking at the presentation style that this is a clone of a Vibrato fragrance, and that fragrance is Fall Off Freak. And it is a pretty good alternative to that scent on the cheap. Although, unfortunately, the cap is not magnetic. By Rado is, mm. they got gotcha. you. So this obviously has vetiver in there. It has some citrus, current, uh, some floral undertones to it as well. The one thing that I would say about this that could bump it up a bit is the performance. The performance could be ramped up. That would be very nice. Uh, but to be fair, the fragrance that it is emulating does not have big performance either. In that aspect, I guess um, they got it right, actually. The price point here, very good, and it is a great green, fresh, clean addition to your spring wardrobe, especially if you want a little touch of vetiver to it, to your fragrance. All right, now we have this one from Latafa. This is Sucrot, and this is a clone of Aqua de Jo's Profumo. And that makes it even more appealing, I feel like, to some people because Profumo, of course, has been replaced with Aqua de Jo Parfum. So you can get this one and it will get you close to Profumo for about $25, sometimes less. You can sometimes find this for like 21, uh, but yeah, I would, I would say in that 20 to 25 range. Really appealing opening, citrus in here, ginger. It does have kind of an aquatic feel to it. Uh, very, very easy to wear, of course. Anything that smells like Aqua de Joe, you can pretty much pull that off anywhere. And for the uh, quality versus price here, this is an awesome buy. If you like Aqua de Joe, or again, more specifically, Aqua de Joe Profumo, this one would be a great pickup. There's five down, 10 to go. Let's try to speed things up. Next, a magnetic cap, but kind of a strange magnetic cap. It is Armoff's Le Parfait. So like I said, a magnetic cap, but not your typical magnetic cap style, but uh, I'll take it. Dang it. Ah, oh, nice. So kind of an interesting name, Le Parfait. And this is uh, a combination fragrance. It's a bit of a melding of two very popular creeds. Hmm. Creeds that I have mentioned already. Yeah, this is a little bit like Green Irish Tweed had a fling with Aventus. 
So a melding of those two put together, not Aventus Cologne, but still Green Irish Tweed meets Aventus. That's what you have with this one. And I think this one is a perfect spring scent because it does lean more toward Green Irish Tweed. It has those Aventus aspects to it, but it's GIT mainly with Aventus coming in underneath. Great for springing, a great change of pace. If you don't want to go just straight up Green Irish Tweed, the Parfait. All right, this next one looks hideous, okay? Just horrifically ugly and cheap. Um, and that's saying something. When we're talking clone bottles, they can be just horrific, okay? They can look like the Elephant Man in bottle form. Rest in peace, Elephant Man. And this is an ugly one, a cheap one. Just, it's not one you're gonna wanna have, you know, sitting in your collection because people are gonna see it and be like, what is that hunk of crap? Just what, what is that? That's gross. That's pretty bad, man. You wear that? Does it give you cancer? Better get you cancer. It's this Codlage Shiaka Silver. That is grotesque. I hate the way this thing looks. This is a generic bottle style. Uh, if you have gone into TJ Maxx, Ross's Marshalls in the US, TK Maxx overseas, uh, you probably in the fragrance section at some point have seen something that looks like this. Same bottle style, but a different bottle because this cheapo, um, again, just grotesque looking bottle is used in a lot of very inexpensive fragrances. So uh, if you look at this and you say to yourself, there is no way that what comes inside there is worth spraying on my skin. I feel you, I do. I'm sure a lot of you can relate with this, but this fragrance is very much like when you were a child and one of your parents maybe had a plate of food and they were like, hey, try this. It's good. Would I lie to you? And you looked at the plate and you thought to yourself, I will vomit if I eat that. It makes my stomach churn. It makes me hate existing, being. I want to be anywhere but here. Please do not make me try that. It just is revolting, okay? That's this. You look at it and you go, no, 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 no. Then you spray it and you go. Oh, maybe they're onto something here. It is a clone of Amouage's Reflection Man. And for the price point, it is very, very good. Surprisingly good. There are other Amouage Reflection clones out there that have better presentations, much better looking, that are not as good smelling. And this is one that has in the past sold out. And then if you look for it, the price is jacked up. Look, you wanna pay under 30 for this. Okay, don't pay over 30. Just look at the presentation. Does that say over 30 to you? I don't think so. But you get that for under 30 and it is a great alternative to Reflection Man. Now this one also has a presentation that I do not like. This is from Latafa. It's Ishk Al Shuyuk Silver. Yes, uh, like I said, the presentation I, I do not like. I do not like a bit. Very bland uh, kind of stock bottle. And then they put this design on the front, slap a little plate on it. And mine, ever since I got it, uh, when I take the cap off, it just takes the whole collar with it. You see, that's just, that's just great. So with this uh, presentation, uh, there are a lot of things to dislike. Once again, don't judge a book by its cover. I have this handy little tool that I use to get the collars back when this happens. There we go. It's not made for this, but it works for it. There we go, look at that. And the next time I take the cap off, that will pop right back on. So what is this a clone of? It's a clone of One Million Lucky. And actually it's a stupid good clone. Like really, really good. Truly one of the better ones that I'm gonna talk about just as far as how close it gets to the OG. So it has that freshness, but then also that like deep sweet side to it as well. Perfect for spring and fall and uh, not very pricey either, which honestly, again, I, if this were really pricey, I would probably have not bought it, but glad I did except for the whole cap thing. Next up, another blend. This one is Odyssey Tyrant from our moth, it looks just so cool, totally rad. Uh, looks like um, a thermos 
like a little thermos that you would put in a child's lunchbox, probably in the 80s, maybe like an A-team theme or GI Joe. Yeah, with a sick camo, that's cool. For sure, people are gonna see that bottle of Odyssey Tyrant and be like, dang, that is, that is cool. You wear that, yeah. This is not for your kid, right? This is for you, yeah. Cool. Fragrance itself smells good though. It's not too expensive. It is a special edition, it says right on the front. Um, how special? I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those deals with limited edition, special editions. They could be there five years, 10 years from now. It could be gone two months from now. Who knows, it's a mystery. But that's what it says right on the front. This is a mix of Dior Sauvage and um, Bulgari Tiger. So it has that, that blue fragrance versatility underneath the tiger, so underneath the tiger. So you get that nice uh, citrus in the opening, very appealing, and then more Sauvage as it dries down. So it's gonna be extremely versatile, easily worn, uh, and a big compliment for it as well. Goofy bottle, maybe, but the fragrance itself, really nice. And keeping in that style, in that vein, our Moth Caballo. This is also a blend. This also has some Bulgari Tiger to it, uh, but this one, has more of a Blue de Chanel vibe instead of Sauvage. So we have two Armoff fragrances, this one and this one, both that are Tiger mixed with a very popular blue fragrance. Have they done one that's uh, Tiger mixed with YSL Y? I don't know if they have, but I feel like they should, you know, complete the trifecta. So this is gonna be smoother than this one over here, not quite as pronounced with that uh, blue fragrance undertone, of course, Blue de Chanel versus Sauvage, that makes sense. Presentation style on this one, also interesting. It has like a pleather um, jacket that you can unzip and take off from the bottle if you want. Um, yeah, and then, and then a magnetic cap as well, so points for that. So those both are uh, Tiger blue fragrance blends. Both smell very well done. And then we move on to Nitro Red from Dumont. And this is another hybrid, another mix. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540, which is where the red comes from, and Invictus from Paco Rabanne. Now it is more Invictus than it is BR540, especially off the top. Off the top, very bubblegummy, very sweet. As it dries down, more of the BR540 comes out, but the first time that you smell that one, especially if you just spray it on a strip like I did, you'll go, hmm. That's pretty much Invictus. I don't, I don't get any of the BR540. So that's one that you really need to wear on the skin, and let it dry down, then you'll see where uh, that mix happens, where that hybridization happens. It is one that is a big complement puller, uh, very versatile as you would expect as well. And pretty cheap, I, I, they're all cheap. Next up, we have a horse head one. Probably should have done that after this one. Kahila Platinum, and this is from Paris Corner. So what do you think this could be? Kahila Platinum with the horse head, uh, it is, LeBeau, yeah, I don't know. The atomizer on this, as you may have just seen, is not fantastic, so be aware of that. It does kind of just a little puff. So this is one where if you want good performance, good staying power, you're gonna have to do a number of sprays. The scent itself smells really nice. The opening actually is extremely appealing, grabs your attention right away, has that freshness, that tropical feel, maybe a little bit more, mm, Ozonic to an extent compared to uh, Le Beau or Le Beau Le Parfum. And that one almost slots between the two. I did a video on my extra channel about five really good Jean-Paul Gaultier clones. I did not feature that one because I didn't own it yet when I shot that video, but this is very good. And I would say uh, as good as Jean Gustave Amaze. So that is Le Beau. After that, Sidrat Essence. This is also Paris Corner. Technically uh, Emir, but Emir is Paris Corner. So this is Cidre Boise, in case you couldn't tell. It is not a dead ringer for Cidre Boise, so it's not the exact same, be aware of that. It has that fruity sweetness off the top, like Cidre Boise does, but it doesn't have quite as much depth. You know, like in Cidre Boise, where the leather comes out pretty early on, you can pick it up there. It's not overbearing, but you can pick it up. Here, it stays further back, and where it's not, as for in the fragrance, in the, in the foreground, you, you can pick up on that. Still smells really good though, and a good alternative on the cheap. That being said, Mancera is pretty cheap as is. So, yeah, you might just wanna get the real thing. North Stag Trois up next, three, 
And this is a Louis Vuitton clone. It is a clone of imagination. And this one to me is killer, especially off the top. So really, 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 really appealing. A lot of those Louis Vuitton fragrances are. The summertime fragrances off the top, they just grab your attention immediately. And this one does as well. The North Stag fragrances that I've smelled have all been very good quality. Uh, North Stag is also part of Paris Corner. So this one is gonna be more for like when it starts to heat up, uh, but again, a great alternative to the Louis Vuitton. And we're gonna wrap it up with a Fraghead's Asylum. I just love the name. It's from FOMO, a Fraghead's Asylum. Oh, I'm a Fraghead. Uh -huh. Put me in the mental asylum. It's a, it's a clone of Elysium. Elysium, Asylum, Elysium, Asylum. Close enough. Also has that color scheme, in, in case you were unaware, get that blue going on. Again, another one, great opening. Really fresh, very uplifting, bright, uh, extremely versatile. Not quite the depth of Elysium, uh, but you really wouldn't expect that for the difference in price, right? It's an extract to parfum as well, pretty good performance. So if you're looking for Elysium on the cheap, I think that really, it's probably your best bet right now, honestly. Some people would say like, uh, Hugo reversed to get that one instead, but I think that's a better alternative if we're just talking straight up, like alternatives to the scent, trying to capture the entirety of the fragrance, that's better. So there we go, 15 for spring. I know I rambled, I apologize for that. Uh, thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, I'll see you tomorrow for another fragrance video. See you later.